In today's Health Watch, it is a beautiful day, but that could mean misery for allergy sufferers. Joining us now, Dr. Crystal Foster from Baylor Healthcare System. Yeah, is it automatic that warmer weather ends up triggering more allergies? Well, and honestly, it's the warmer weather that makes people want to go outside, and the allergies are already there, but now we're spending more time outside. Okay, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So, mm -hmm. to combat the symptoms, what do you recommend? The biggest thing is if you can avoid the allergens, then that's the best. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to spend more time outside, as soon as you come home, change out of your clothes because oh. you're dragging some of that pollen in the house with you. And then if you have to use something for the allergies, over-the-counter antihistamines like Benadryl, Claritin, Zyrtec, and Allegra generally look, work very well. Just talk to your doctor before you start taking them because if you have certain health conditions like high blood pressure, you want to avoid the ones that have decongestants in yeah, them. Yeah, be careful with your combination of drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, a new study, this is interesting, says the effects of bullying can last long past the schoolyard. How mm -hmm. so? So there is a new study in published in pediatrics that actually followed about 4,100 children in inner city schools. Um, you know, the theory is bullying is very common, unfortunately, and mm -hmm. you would think that as children got older, some of those effects would kind of wear away. Mm -hmm. But what they showed was that children who were interviewed in fifth grade and then followed them all the way up to 10th grade, those who were uh, bullied at early ages still carried more depression, anxiety, fears, and feelings of self-worthlessness, and even affected their physical health compared to kids who may have been bullied only in 10th grade. So the earlier it is, the longer the effects can last later on in life. And if you think about it, that's when a child is developing who they are mm -hmm. and how they see the world and how people see them. That so. inner child from, from yeah, mm -hmm. from being, from just little, little age has such an impact. Okay. All right, new research mm -hmm. shows that the elderly can actually die from loneliness or at least can be in a contributing factor. Yes. This is heartbreaking. How, it is. How, how does that work? What's so, going on in the brain? So the idea is that if you don't have strong social networks, it is harder for you to deal with some of life's challenges like disability, losing your hearing, maybe losing some of your vision. And so people who don't have social networks tend to not sleep well at night. That raises their cortisol or their stress hormone level, can raise their blood pressure, and can lead to premature death. And in one study it showed that people who were lonely tended tended to die from premature death 19% more than the regular population. Boy, mm -hmm. get friends and mm -hmm. start young with those friends, right? <laughs> yes, keep your social network. Yeah, very mm -hmm. important. Dr. Foster, thank you very much. Thank you. Some great reminders today, too.